Hello dear friends, I have a really good one for you today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at an article. Toddler dies of measles in Jerusalem. So this is uh, from the Times of Israel. Toddler dies of measles in Jerusalem in first such incident in 15 years. Amid a spike in cases throughout Israel, Health Ministry Chief considers banning children from school who parents refuse to vaccinate them. So we have a new tidal wave of, uh, how to say, on a clampdown on people who don't want to vaccinate children. And the first case I heard was, was in New York when they prohibit uh, children going to school. Yeah, so I just watched an interview before when there was uh, parents who were, they were um, yeah, they couldn't leave the children at school. So they had huge problems, of course, but because both of them worked, so they didn't know what to do. So we see this clamp down, and we see this is something that, it's a campaign they're pushing all over the world. So we have an 18-month toddler has died in measles in Jerusalem, the first recorded death from measles in Israel in the past 15 years. According to the officials, the infant was not vaccinated against the contagious disease. So the girl may have contracted the disease from her parents, who both were diagnosed with measles and neither of them have been vaccinated. <laughs> Look at that. So, okay, so many people believe that this measles outbreak is for real, right? But just let us have a closer look at the image they present here. So, we take a snapshot of the image, we copy it. I already done this, so I just need to delete it, what I done before. Copy, now we copy it here before. And then we take we take a snapshot of one of these marks on the skin. Let's have a closer look of the marks in the skin. So that's that one. So if we take another one, so I just took that one. Let's take another one. Let's take this one up. Or well, let's take this one. And we just put them next to each other. Let's take another one. So have you seen that in nature? Have you, have you ever seen that in nature? We have a, <laughs> like a copied pattern somewhere like that. Of course you haven't seen it, but you can see it on uh, Photoshop, on doctored images. And if you actually look close at the picture, all of these marks, it's the same mark they're using here, 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 here. Probably, yes, up here as well. It's the same, it's the same pattern they used and you just copied it all over the image. So this is 100% proof that this is a faked image. So, so this is nothing else than propaganda. You understand that this is not nothing else than fear mongering. Would they, if this was a real case, would they really do this doctored image? How dishonest are these people making these articles? Then, of course they're not. Of course this is not happened. It's one hundred percent created propaganda. So. When we, find, when we find cases like this, when we can prove without a doubt that they are doing this kind of uh, doctored images, we need to share this information. So I'm not saying that you need to credit anything to anybody. You can create your own video about this article. If you're not able to create your own video, you can mirror this one. You can share it or you can write something. But I think when we find clips like this, 100% evidence, this needs to be spread. You cannot just sit there and watch it and just say, wow, that's great, and then do nothing about it. 
when we found really, really good clips, we need to share them. So that's what I wanted to say. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.